ask you to join us today for vine termination and pollination. Please join us. If you like the videos, turn on your notifications and subscribe to the channel. Yes, the plant, after throwing down 10, 10 granular fertilizer, it's actually greening up quite nicely, but it's a steady regimen. If you're growing in sand, it's a steady regimen, almost daily. Water it in, maybe every five fertilizing you could skip and just water, just to flush some of the salt. This whole area and then watering it in. I've also been taking the buckets and that cooler and mixing up fertilizers and dumping 20 gallons an evening on this whole area. I would flood it with 20, 25 gallons of fertilized water. But today, we have a pumpkin that's open. Look at this. It is a one, two, three, four, five lober. All right. That is the girl flower. As you can see, our plant is on the small side. It's been struggling growing in pure sand. I don't recommend growing in pure sand unless you have no choice. There's the pumpkin, female flower. Here we go. Here is the male flower. The male flower has no pumpkin. So we'll pinch that off. This is what we call a self-pollination because we have no other pumpkin plants. It has to be self-pollinated. Luckily, we have the flowers. And it's in the 70s, perfect temperature for pollinating the 70s. Look at that boy. Look at him. He's ready. He's ready to rock. All right, so here we go. We take the male, it's birds and the bees, folks, to the female. All right, and uh, what I'll do is I'll peel these petals off. All right, I peeled the petals off, exposing the stamen, and there we go. And we are going to pollinate. The pumpkin is pollinated on March 21st in Punta Gorda, Florida. A little optimistic. It's starting to show some decent uh, secondaries. They're finally starting to come out. Look at that. That one there back there is probably four feet long. That's a four footer. There's a three footer, three footer. So the secondaries are reaching out off of the main vine. And they're getting some lot better color now that I've been really laying the fertilizers to it. All right, so but here we go. Here's our pumpkin. All right, I still, this we consider an open pollination, although I haven't seen a bee nowhere. There's your pumpkin, you got a nice long stem on that 1704. But what we'll do is we will take and put a stake in here, and we'll slowly, now these tendrils are grabbing the ground. So we gotta break the tendrils loose. They're grabbing the lawn. And we gotta bring the vine around carefully. Don't do this in the morning. You can snap your plant, snap the vine in the morning. So you wanna be careful. You wanna guard this vine with your life. All right? But what we're doing here is gradually turning the main vine off to a 90 degree angle away from all right, so we do it gradually. You don't have to do it all the same day. So we're turning that away so that the pumpkin will not break off the stem. It'll grow out here and it has room to grow. You don't want it growing on top of the vine. Biggest mistake made by new guys. It's all right. I will talk about the main vine. I'd like to hear comments from you guys. When do you think is the best time to terminate the main vine? Put your comments in the comment box below. You know, I've heard a lot of different theories. Let it grow to the end of the season. You know, but hey, I wanna hear your input, man. When is the best time to terminate the main vine? Hey, thank you for joining us today. I enjoyed the videos. If you don't remember, leave a comment. Turn on your notifications and subscribe to the channel. Hey, my God, what's going on? Oh my goodness!
What's going hey, what on? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Oh my god! What are you doing? What's that? I thought you wanted those weeds cut down. Don't you think you do? Vanity! Buy your seeds at WorldwideGiantGrowers.com. It's time to grow, folks. It's time to grow. Hey. All's well. All's well that ends well. Thanks for joining us in the video. And hey, don't forget this summer to check out Moby Mike's channel, Josiah Brandt. Check out all the growers across the country. There should be a lot of great YouTube channels this year. Check everybody out and keep them growing, guys. I'm probably taking the summer off. Not going to grow this summer. But I'm going to head back to Michigan. I'll be making some nice videos. We'll probably make one in Cinderella's Patch, uh, Derek, Ruth Ruffs, um, Alan Laginus, Jason G. Feller, uh, Third Year Frank. So join us this summer for pumpkin videos at Keep It a Secret Home and Garden. Keep it a secret, but go tell a friend.